Right, so far, um, pretty much everything we've discussed is um, to do with snapshot pictures of capitalism, how capitalism operates in a particular week, the circuit of capital, a single circuit of capital. In the later chapters of Capital, Marx goes on to how capitalism reproduces itself. And he argues that capitalist production does not just produce apples, smartphones, gloves, watches, bus journeys, but capitalist production reproduces the social relations of capitalism. It reproduces the capitalist class and capital on an increasing scale, and it also reproduces the working class. How does it do that? The, the workers go to work for a month. You go to work for a month and um, you're paid a month's wages. Those month's wages are, if you have a union, they're around the living wage. So you have enough to live on. Um, if you're a particularly frugal worker and particularly set on that sort of thing, you may be able to save up a bit and maybe after some years you get to set up a business of your own and become a small capitalist. But by definition, that happens only with a tiny minority. With the working class as a whole, the whole cycle ends up with you coming back to work for the next month, having consumed your wages, having made yourself able to do another month's work but um, in the same subordinate position as you were at the beginning of the previous month just a month older so in that sense the circuit of capital reproduces the working class it reproduces capital too but you remember we talked about the circuit of capital the circuit of capital is different from having gloves, but it's not cold weather, and being hungry, where you sell the gloves and buy the apple. The object there is you uh, sell a use value you don't want and get a use value you do want. The point of the circuit of capital, the driving force, is that it expands value. The capitalist who starts off with a million pounds has two million, then three million, then four million. The aim of capitalist production is not a particular use value. It's not to buy a yacht for the capitalist, though he may buy one. It's to expand capital. And it does that organically, because at the end of each circuit of capital, uh, the surplus product of the, cap the workers, the, what they produced above the value of their wages is sold. It becomes surplus value. The capitalist may have to pay some amount to the government in taxes, to a landowner for the rent of their factory and so on. But they have the profit. Some of it goes to capitalist consumption. Uh, Marx argues in the early period of... Uh, Capitalism, the of industrial capitalism, the ethos among the capitalists is one of frugality, of not of high living, uh, because they want to put the maximum back into production. He says, as capitalist production develops, a conventional degree of ostentation becomes a necessary business expense. So to show you're a good, a um, a going capitalist business, you have the 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 posh office the um, all the trappings, the big expense accounts and so on. But even uh, today, that uh, individual capitalist consumption and the amount they pay to their hangers-on, the lawyers, the accountants and so on, is only a part of it. There, a part of the surplus value will be ploughed back, invested back into production. Um, and there's a continual competitive pressure on capitalists to do that. It, if you're going to compete with other capitalists, you have to improve your technology, 
And you can't do that without investing. If you stay on the old technology, eventually you will be outcompeted and driven out of business. So the, the built into the process is a ploughing back of more and more surplus value into production. And what that means is that after a certain period, after a certain number of years, all the capital that now exists is just accumulated bits of previous year's surplus value, of previous year's profits. So capital is not something that comes, it appears at the beginning, it's something that the capitalist brings in. In fact, on a social scale, capital is just the accu an accumulation of part of what has been extracted from the working class over the previous years, decades and centuries.